All right, so here I am. I'm logged into um, Audio Boom. I'll actually click on Audio Boom here. And I've created an account. Now I know I have an account because I can see my username up here and I can click on it. I could um, adjust my settings and that sort of thing. But um, you can look at other people's uh, recordings generally. Um, but for this purpose for the class, um, I'd like you to record. So this little red button, um, make sure you have a microphone. A USB microphone is best um, than some of the built-in from your webcams. But sometimes, you, you know, you're... Um, your recorder from your laptop might be adequate, but make sure there's no distracting background noise or that. But the best is having a headset with mic and a USB uh, port. So I'm gonna click on record. So the idea is just to demonstrate you've used either Twisted Wave, Audio Boom, or some web-based recorder, or Audacity even, that you can use. Um, record a, a recording, um, share it with others. That sort of thing. So I'm going to, um, again, you could either read a poem, read the newspaper, just tell a short story. It's a testing only uh, purposes. So I'm going to click on record. I'm going to read one of my haikus. So if I click on record, you have some options. I can either upload a pre-recorded recording here um, and draw or drop, drag and drop an audio file or click on record. And here you'll see um, my mic is working because you can see the sound waves uh, moving. I can The record button is here. I'm not recording yet. But when I do record, I'll click on this. You get, um, you know, th there's a limited time for f the free version. Yes, here it is. Uh, uh, I think it's three minutes maybe. So you, it's fine for, for our purposes uh, to use this free option. So I'm going to click on record and read my haiku. Home connected, waiting for life to show up on this tiny screen. Click and scroll, watching nations fall and angry birds kill flying pigs. And after I record it, I hit the record button again and I'm gonna play it back to see how it sounds. Home connected, waiting for life to show up on this tiny screen. Click and scroll, watching nations fall and angry birds kill flying pigs. So that's mine. And so also what I can do is uh, save it. And uh, so I'm gonna click on save. And when I do that, it asks me to give it a title. So I'm gonna t um, call it um, uh, Haiku, Haiku. And there's also something that comes at the top of my computer. It wants Audio Boom to use my location. Well, I don't really want it to use my location, so I'm just going to know. I'm not going to let it do that. Then here it's going to do uh, my test recording or, you know, something in there as a description. You can give it a category if you want. And, um, you know, the idea is because a lot of these are public. And you can add an image to go with it. So I'm going to click on add an image. I can pull something up from my computer. Um, you know, finding an image to go with your sounds kind of nice. Um, so it, it, I don't think I have an image ready to go with that particular um, uh, poem. Um, so I'm just going to pull up any any old image just to have it there. Um, let's see if I can find one. Uh, I'm testing. So I'm going to skip the image for now. I can come back and edit it later. I'm going to click Publish. Now after I click Publish, it says Upload Complete. I'm going to click on um, my haiku, the sound at the bottom here. And when I click on it, here, here it comes to this haiku. I can actually play it. Home connected. And then, yeah, so it works. And one thing I can do, um, See this little circle, the social media? This is where you could share it. So I can either email it to people or put it on any of these social media sites. We have a Google Plus community. So what I'm going to do is click on that. And I'm going to say, OK, here's my test. Test recording for week five. Well, I don't have to say for week five because I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to get rid of the public, and I'm going to put CCB um uh, and multimedia and scroll down again it's this little icon sp15 
and it's not, it's week six actually. So week six, and I will say for week number six, and then I'm going to share it. Um, now I didn't put a photo in it. I'm wondering now if I go back and edit it and with a photo, it might, it might, it might work. So let's edit it and see if it stays with the, uh, add an image. Now the map allowing location lets you map where recordings are taken. There may be an application for that. There might be some use for, uh, when you might want to use, um, the mapping, um, at this point. You know, I think in schools, there may be some, um, you know, if people are in different locations sharing their thoughts around the world, it'd be kind of fun to see where all of those recordings take place. Um, so for now, I'm just going to pick any picture just because I don't have one that I particularly want to. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to save the changes. And now if I go to the community, let's see if it actually shows up with the image. I should have thought ahead of time, you know, what image I was going to use. So it didn't. Um, but here's the, if I click on right there, that haiku, it opens it up in Audio Boom. And yeah, there it is. And then... So I can play it and it's shared with anybody that's in our uh, community. There's also an embed code. So you could actually put this embed code in your blog. Um, actually, let's try that. So I'm going to copy this and I've copied the embed code. I'm going to go to blogger.com, find the I have several blogs. So I make sure you find the right blog, your blog um, that you're working on. Most of you should have just one blog. Um, and remember the name of your blog. So here I'm going to learning in the cloud. So I'm going to make a new post for that. And here the editor's opening up. And again, always give your post the title. And I'm going to do um, audio boom. Now remember the embed code. Now if I just stuck it here, it wouldn't work. You have to click on HTML because embed code is a code. Uh, it's computer code, HTML. Um, and now when I click on compose, um, it doesn't, it, it just, it puts a link in. It's actually not embedding it. So, but it will, it will, it will put a link in. I was hoping it would actually embed the whole player um, into it. Well, let's publish and just see what it looks like. Um, so I hit publish and I'm going to view it. View, let's see. I don't want to share it yet, but again, when you do your post, you you would share, you click uncheck public and go to the CCV. Um, but I don't want to share this yet. I actually want to look at it first. Uh, I seem to be stuck in the water here. So testing audio boom. There we go. I want to actually view my blog. Yeah, it only put a link. It really didn't embed. That's kind of deceptive. So I'm going to play around with that. Oh, maybe there, there it goes. There, oh, it put it. It did embed it. So in your in your um, post um, itself, it doesn't show that it embeds, but when you publish it, it'll work. So again, I can play it right here in the blog, which I really like. Um, so be sure to, to try and do that with either Twisted Wave. This is kind of nice. I like it. And again, if you hadn't shared it with our community, you can click on the Google Plus here and share it um, now uh, into the community. So that's kind of cool. So if you have any questions on using Audio Boom, let me know.